So the title is not clickbait. I am getting rid of my 2011s for now, and we'll dive into that in a minute. But before we do, I wanted to have a little class participation. So while I have these sent away, I thought it'd be fun to maybe test a gun that you guys want to see tested. So what should my next EDC be? Should it be the Smith & Wesson M&P? Should it be maybe the Langston P30L or the P30? Um, should it be one of the Beretta X Performance Series models? Um, maybe a CZ? I don't know. Whatever you guys think, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know. I've seen a few guys running a few different guns, and so I'm interested in trying something out since I've been shooting 2011s for a while now. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below, and let's get into why I'm getting rid of my 2011s for now. So if you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you know that I've been having a love-hate relationship with my Staccatos. Now, outside of the few issues I've had, they've been absolutely phenomenal. They've shot super accurate. They've been very reliable to a degree. And they've been, for the most part, without problem. And I've really enjoyed shooting the ergonomics of it. They just It's just a great gun, and it runs great out of the box. And for the price, getting into the 2011 market, it is probably the best gun you can get for the price. I know you can get the, the Prodigy for cheaper, but it has its own issues, and it's just not as well put together as these Staccatos are. Now, with all that said, I have had some issues. So I did have some extractor issues when I was at Zona. Uh, my extractor actually broke, and then it just wasn't working, and so it turned into like a, a bolt action 2011, which was a lot of fun. We had to have that replaced. Uh, I talked to Staccato, and they're, th let, me, let me say that Staccato's customer service has been absolutely phenomenal. They were like, yeah, we'll get it taken care of. It's still covered under warranty. And to be fair, this gun has almost 10,000 rounds through it, so it is well-worn, but they, they said that they would replace it, and so I've actually got to send that off. I was supposed to sent it off already, but when I moved, my address changed, so now it's got to go through an FFL, so that way it comes back so it doesn't go to the wrong address. Whole big ordeal. But anyways, um, this will be going back to Staccato, uh, as will my other one, which we'll talk about in a minute. So that was its own issue. Now, that could just be from wear and tear, because that's a lot of rounds on an, an extractor. It, it could just be that we shot so many rounds through it that it just finally gave up. It could be partially a design flaw, it could be an underlying issue, but the biggest issue I've had with my Staccatos and the reason that they are going away for a little while is a mag overseeding issue. Now, before everybody hops in the comments and says, well, you need to go watch 10.8's video, you need to get the 10.8 base pads, you need to get the correct base pads and this and that. I understand, I've seen the videos, I understand, but it is a design flaw and I will show you what I'm talking about. The, the base pads are a band-aid fix for what is a bigger problem, which is ultimately a design flaw. Now, I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, it could have just been oversight, but the base pads are designed to fix what ultimately is an issue with the grip module. Here I have, and this is an older generation staccato grip. The, the Triarchs, the 2011s, their, their Tri-11s use the old generation grip module. It does not have the issue. The issue only exists in the newer style grip module, which has their new, uh, whatever texture they call it. This is the only issue I've run into with the gun. So what ultimately happens is if you take a, a, a 20 round mag without their base pad and you go to insert it, just like you would if you were doing a reload, you get over insertion. And what happens is the feed lips of the mag will then wedge itself against the ejector. Now what happens is, is if you look closely, you can kind of see that the um, the mag release is kind of still depressed and what's happened is the mag has overseeded. So with the base pads on, the correct base pads, it will stop that, it essentially hits it, right? But none of my guns came with those base pads and I have like 15 of these mags. So I don't really want to go buy 15 sets of these base pads. Um, I do have some with extended base pads and it still does it. but. What ends up happening is it damages the ejector. And then in some cases, what I've seen is that when the slide tries to go forward, it's wedging the bullet because now the bullet is too high for the barrel. So then the bullet jams into the barrel and the slide is still trying to close. And the, the slide wedges on the feed lips of the magazine and you have a stuck gun, a jam gun. And also doing this with a hot gun, trying to rip this mag out is kind of a pain, um, especially when you have rounds in it. Now that is very problematic. It happened to me. Uh, at the Infinity match, which is why I didn't fi finish the Infinity match. I got to shoot with Chris and Jake from 1911 Syndicate and um, Taylor and Preston and, if, and Zach and Brandon and Mike. And it was awesome. We were having a great time, but then I, was, I started having issues with this and it just finally ended my day and I didn't get to finish the match. So here's one of the base pads. This is not, this is not the correct one, but this is one of the extended base pads that came with my gun. And oh, you see, we still get over insertion. That is the main issue that I have with these Staccatos right now. And so you see again, the mag is still depressed, the mag is just over, uh, over inserted. 
and so you have to strip it out. So unfortunately, that's caused me some other issues. So it's damaged the uh, ejector, and I think that's part of the reason I've been, ha been having extractor issues because when the slide goes forward, um, the back of these feed lips here, I think are actually hitting the extractor. So that's just my theory on it, but I do know that it is wedging on here and it is causing issues with the ejector and with the slide. Again, I will show you both of these mags on the old generation. This is the old generation grip from Staccato. Uh, that's what Triarch still uses. A few other companies I think still use that model. Um, it doesn't over insert. I can push as hard as I want and it will not sit on there. Uh, we, you see that the mag release is fully extended. So it's locked the mag in there. It's not gonna let it over insert. It's part of the design that it wouldn't let it happen. This is the other uh, base pad. So again, it's not gonna let it over insert in there. Now, this is a moot point if you use 17 round mags, if you already have mags with the correct base pads, if you use the 10.8.1s. Dano from Centrifuge, he's been using some other base pads. He says it's been working great too, and they actually work really well for intro shooter because they have ledges and stuff like that. So if you can need to strip the mag with one hand, you can do that. Um, so if that's the case, this is not an issue for you. But for those of you who are just like me and dumb and have a bunch of 20, 20 round mags sitting around with the short base pads, this will be an issue for you. And it will cause other problems because you're going to damage, like I have, you're going to jam damage your ejector and your extractor and maybe some other internal parts. But, uh, so there's a couple fixes, right? So the simple fix is the base pads if you don't have a lot of mags. For me, that is a band-aid to the issue and I don't wanna spend that amount of money on base pads for that many mags just to make it work, right? I feel like that's a design error and so, really what needs to be fixed is the grip module. So talking with Vulcan Machine Works, um, they have released their aluminum and steel grip modules for Staccatos for 2011s. And I said, hey, Jeremy, I'm interested in them, but I need to know, will they fix the problems that I'm having? And so he's like, I honestly, man, um, I, I haven't seen those issues like you have, so let's test and find out. So I took like five of their guns with these grip modules, both steel and aluminum, and it fixes the problem because it is modeled after the older generation grip module. So the internals work well to stop the mag from overseeding. And as hard as I push that, it will not allow it to overseed. So it does fix the problem, but it gives the added benefit of now you have an aluminum grip module that I think is personally better than the polymer. Um, some guys will say that it's heavier or this or that. The aluminum doesn't add that much weight. The steel does add a substantial amount of weight and it makes the gun feel better. So if you've ever shot a Sandhawk um, or like a Nighthawk, um, any of the other guns that are, are using Chili grips or Chili style grips or aluminum grips or, or steel grips, you know how it improves the performance of the gun or the feel of the gun, how the gun feels, how it's balanced, how it shoots. It feels better with a, with a metal grip. For me, this was a easy switch that if I'm gonna spend the money on base pads, I can just take that money, put it into a grip that'll make the gun feel better and not have to worry about these issues at all anymore. So for now, uh, my two guns, both um, this Staccato and my Ferrari Staccato are gonna go away. So this one will go to Staccato to have it fixed, to have the extractor fixed and the, and the ejector fixed. And then after that, they will both go to Vulcan to have their aluminum grips put on. So you can check out Vulcan Machine Works. I'll leave a, a link in the description so you guys can check them out if you have a Staccato or if you're looking at getting one. It's a very simple and basic upgrade that you can do that'll improve the performance of the gun. It'll help eliminate this reliability issue that's occurring um, until uh, Staccato comes out with a different grip module. And if you are sending it off to Vulcan to, to have the grip module put in, you can also upgrade the trigger. You can get it ported, Cerakoted, whatever you wanna do. Um, there's a lot of options you can do there as well. So shameless plug for them. Uh, they are the homies and I do work with them. So uh, take that for what it's worth. But if you wanna go the base plate route, again, you can buy the ones direct from Staccato. You can buy the 10.8 ones. You can also buy the ones from Dano and I'll link those down below as well. So whatever option you decide to go, um, those will help fix the problems. But I just wanted to, to give you guys some of the feedback, like long-term feedback on issues that I found with products or with guns as, as I use them more and more. So just wanna make you guys aware as you're looking, cause I know a lot of guys are looking at purchasing staccatos or already have some. So maybe that, you know, tips you towards, hey, I was already kind of looking at an aluminum grip. So I wanna go ahead and get one. And maybe you, you were like, hey, do I really need these base pads? Maybe you're gonna go ahead and get them. So hopefully that helps somebody out there and hopefully it saves you the headache that I've been having. And if you guys have run into this issue, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure that like and subscribe, karate chop that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you guys in the next one.